Ooh. Another jigsaw. Oh, those little tool things sell. I've sold a few of those. All right, so that's coming with me. This stuff, not so much. Yeah. Halo, what is, wait a minute, you're heavy. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Thought this was a McMuffin for a second. Wow. Yeah, actually I think I could use some of this hardware. Sweet. Can you back the truck up please? If you watched my last video, I found a gaming chair. A PewDiePie gaming chair. So I listed it for sale. Is that aluminum? Is that plastic? That's aluminum. Extruded aluminum at that. So I found uh, a PewDiePie chair, gaming chair. And so, but it was broken. And so I listed it on the local for sale app called Virage Sale and immediately got four responses, like within 15 minutes uh, with interest. And so the first guy, I'm like, yeah, we can, uh, you know, if you want to come by right now, he's like, well, how about two o'clock? So I set the appointment for two. Uh, uh, two other people said, hey, I want to buy it. I said, well, if this person does buy it, I'll let you know. Oh my goodness, that's super heavy. Wow, yeah, super heavy. So, long story short, um, this person buys the broken uh, gaming chair, no problem at all. Um, and, but this other person, <clears throat> this other person said, um, that sure does look like the chair I put in the trash. Maybe I could have gotten $20 for it, you know. And so uh, I'm like, what was wrong with the chair? Just kind of test them, see if they would watch the video or if they really are the ones that that uh, threw the tra chair away. And the lady's like, um, it was my son. He kept on rocking backwards. Two of the bolts came loose and he lost them. And I said, what neighborhood? And she told me, sure enough. <laughs> what else is in here? So yeah, the person that threw away the chair sent me a message. All right, so before anybody says anything, this jigsaw, with it being rusted up, I don't know if that's just a broken piece to it. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna try to resell this. Nope. It's like medical equipment or uh, children's bicycles. Um, if there's, I just, if there's something wrong with it, I don't want someone like, with with a walker um that already has some issues i sell them some garbage walker and uh it's broken and then they get hurt or a tool like this that absolutely can hurt somebody tv I think that box of screws is gonna go up in the front seat with me. All right. Yeah, this is one thing you don't want tipping. Definitely. Scoot over, man. The ground has been clipped off or broken off. Yeah, that'd be really nice for the back of the truck. All right, filling up kind of quick. A bandsaw with the instructions with a price tag of 42 bucks on it. this another type of saw what is this home improvement week <sighs> yeah I'm not gonna resell them <sighs> but I want to <laughs> the 
probably heavy, so I should drop the gate. Yeah, I saw a grill, but it was it was too heavy for me. It was a massive grill. I'm like, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna hurt my shoulder doing that. Wow. 56 and 7 eighths. Yeah, I like the metric system better, just saying. The metric system? It's un American. <laughs> what? No. The colonial system is un-American. <laughs> okay. Get in my truck. Speaking of, it's about 14 Celsius out right now, which is a little chilly. Yeah. Look at that lamp. That is awesome. Oh, that, the price tags are from yard sales. Okay. Is that a yard sale here? So that thing didn't sell for, how much did they want for it? $42. They want to get rid of it for nothing. $26 for that lamp. Wow. That's why it's out here because you overpriced it. This lamp though. Just in case someone drives by, I'm gonna leave that one alone. What else we got going on here? Uh -huh. I'll take it. And a cheese grater. Yes. A saw right there. here then I'll grab that saw the saw has some design on it JKW Three bucks they wanted it. Doesn't have any sound to it. Needs to be like a musical instrument. Let's see if I can get it to make some sounds. Nope. It's not a musical instrument. Decent saw though. No. It's all bent up. You see that? Words are eluding me this morning. So I'm gonna do my bowling knot. So this is the working end. That's the bit end. So on the working end, I'm just gonna make like a six. Does that make sense? Or a, yeah. Do it like that. <laughs> and then with this end, I go through the hole, around the tree, back down the hole, and from underneath the hole, you pull. That is the bowling knot. One of the best knots ever in the last 5,000 years. Yep. So I just wanna, I wanna cross over. So I just do a, a loop. I wanna cross over and then go underneath. And then I'm just gonna do another like a crisscross. Oh, so that is cliff edge. Oh yeah. 
my kind of metal. Thanks, folks. Need more metal. Good morning, Ralph. Doesn't look half bad. Hmm. Might be a keeper. What are you catching? Oh, <laughs> that's not good. That's better. Hmm. Looks like it was a decent bike at one point. Well, it's a next, so it's a Walmart special. <laughs> no matter what. But I like that those front brakes. Definitely. I need a seat post for that blue bike that I got um, last video. Yeah, that might be too small. a Weddle, a Weddle, <laughs> metal wheelbarrow. I am having difficulties with words today. Definitely. You too. Don't want to whack my ankles, my shins on that. Oh, hi, Rufus. What is up? How you doing this morning? He said, I'm not doing good. I need me put my teeth in you. Hmm. The dirt. Would it be wrong for me to put the dirt in the grass? Because I don't know what the it looks like just regular dirt. Hmm. Yeah, I need to straighten up a little bit. Definitely. Nice sports. I'll bet this is stainless steel. That's my guess. Yep. That, or it could be actually brass. Let's see if we see any yellow. Nope, that's white. And it's not magnetic, and it's heavy. Stainless steel. So that needs to come off the truck when I'm at my shop. Any other goodies? Any other goodness? Another pot. I can hear the G-Man. 
just can't see them. I see another chair over there. See? You can hear them too, can't you? Yep, another chair. We have an invisible garbage man. Can I do it? Close. There we go. All right, where are you going? I think pretty much where this chair is. Yep. What is going on here? One, two, three bikes. Shut the truck off for this one. Yeah, it's a little cul sac right here. Hmm. Yeah, in the trash. So that tire's flat. That tire's flat. That tire's flat. Yeah, so these are not some kids' bikes. Hey. So this is empty, so the garbage man drove past this. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm not sure if the garbage man saw me. Oh, that was two dollars for a um for a yard sale. Okay. Where are they going? My shoulders like don't lift them up over. Two dollars. He tried getting rid of them. Didn't go very far. I hear people talking. <laughs> Look at my hair sticking out. I'm so close to getting a haircut. I wanted to like not get a haircut, let it grow. Cause the uh, whole pandemic thing had me not get a haircut. And I was liking it for a while, but it's really irritating now. Yep. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Tying that one down. Probably doing a rope around the whole thing. Where my rope at? Uh-oh, might be buried. Oh yeah, I had to get a used tire. I got a flat tire, big time flat tire. Actually it was a slice on the inside. So um, yeah, got a used Goodyear tire. That's a fine tire. But anyway, I say that because I had to take everything out because I had a hard time. Uh-oh, where's my ropes? I had a hard time getting my um, spare tire out. Is this rope gonna catch on things? Hope not. Yay. Yeah, actually, my little wrench that goes into this hole here um, was kind of messed up. And yeah, it was really giving me a hard time lowering that spare tire. All right, let's tie this bicycle up. Once again, just make a loop. 
up through the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. You have yourself a bowling knot. It has a particular look to it. And it's always easy to untie because of this. So it's a great knot that's easy to untie. Okay, now, this one, I don't know if it works or not. I know someone took the, the ground off of it, but it's still operational. I think, we'll see. I'll turn my fan on. It does. Luke! Luke! Yeah, all right, so this works. I know, it takes the safety aspect away from a circuit. Human safety. But I'll put this with my other ones. Yeah, oh, there's this. I was looking for this when I had my flat tire. Oh, I was looking all over for this thing. Oh. Yeah, this would have came in handy. Okay. So these are gonna get listed for sale. Yeah, so I don't think I was saying that story very well, but the chair, that PewDiePie chair that I had, that was broken, I had a bunch of interest in it right away, and including the person that threw it away sent me a message on Virage Sale, saying, hey, that looks like the chair I threw away. And it certainly was. That is a whole bunch of good stuff in here. So this is my little junk drawer right here. I'll deal with that. I'm gonna list these things for sale. I know they're just like a wood shop kind of a thing. And oh yeah, I got that piece of aluminum I need to take off. And also my next video, I was talking with my girlfriend. She said, hey, let's do a video of, of the non-Ferris type stuff. So she has not been in a video. Well, she's made two brief cameos in uh, some videos. Um, maybe you'll recognize, maybe you won't, I don't know. So I have aluminum. I have number two insulated wire, which is probably at least 60 pounds or 80 pounds of that. And actually I'm gonna separate those two into two garbage cans. And I'm gonna keep my Romex and number one wire. But I wanna take in rotors. I want to take in my copper. I want to separate my clean brass from the brass that I need to, when I say clean brass, I mean brass that has no steel or other stuff on it. Um, so I'll make two buckets of that, turn in my zinc, um, maybe cat five. I got the low grade wire, just the kind of the junky stuff. Sometimes he has me throw the low grade wire right in with the number two. And it was, it was 40, 40 cents or 45 cents. So yeah, I might take these apart. I don't know, I might, I might just keep them there for my savings account. But yeah, so that's what I want to do with my next video. Yes, well, we'll see what attention deficit has to say about that. This works just fine. Oh yeah, stainless steel. Put that in the Romex bucket. Stay. Wanna play some canasta? Give this the 280 pound weight test. Oh yeah, that works. Wait, I feel like drumming. All right, I'm gonna guess a decent amount. I'm gonna say 4,400, is it? A bit too gutsy, a bit too optimistic. Uh, 
Yeah, 4,300 exactly. So a little bit north. Oh, it dropped down to 4,280. Man, that's a scrap pile. So I'm just uh, going to leave that scrap on my tab for right now. I'll probably collect tomorrow after I do my non-ferrous run. So thank you God for today. Thank you for blue skies and warmth and uh, not being too cold, not being too hot. You are good. You got. I was having a hard time this morning thinking about Thinking about my grandparents and my dad and my brother that have all passed and um, a few of my friends that have passed away I don't know God I just started getting sad and I know that death separates but God you say that we'll have life everlasting God help me with my faith <laughs> In the name of Jesus Amen. Yeah. You're not too big. You can get in my truck. So yeah, my, my truck was getting kind of full. So I thought I'd just go dump it. Clear out the back of the truck. I'm glad I did. Yeah. This will work just fine. And a chair. Yep, yep. This one's kind of heavy. Maybe this is a little bit more than I can chew. Let's get some of the wood out of it. This hasn't had a, a burger on it in years. It's just dried up completely. Evaporated grease. <laughs> yeah, this stuff's kind of heavy. I won't have to lift all that weight. Wait a minute, what is that? Looks like it's part of a radiator. Pick it up else I'll forget. All right, dude, you ready? To take a little trip, take a little trip. Uh oh, uh -uh. that's gonna fall right out. I can tell. Well, there's a 50-50 chance that this thing's gonna fall out. Oh, yep. It's quite the mess. Hmm. 
not good. It's rust. Rust recycles. Steel. A little bit of steel. I think my son would like this. Hmm. That box spring looks like it's in a decent shape. Yeah. Indubitably. <laughs> Sorry. I needed an excuse needed an excuse to say that word. Only bagged at trash, really? Doesn't look only bagged. All right, we're good. Oh, that tire looks a little low. What's going on? Is that low? Nah, I'm tripping. All right, you're going up front with me, not the dirt and lint. What kind of bike was this? I can't tell. If I can uncouple these somehow. So a Huffy Sportsman. Right. I didn't want it to snap back at me. Definitely know I need some of these. Oh yeah, it's rusted too. Hmm. Those cicadas are loud. Wonder if it's the periodic cicadas that come out every seven or 13 years or whatever. Let's see if I can break this. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, those cicadas, man. It's pretty wild how they come out. Not every year, but just um, they're in the ground for X amount of years. Pretty wild. Oh, looks like a Ethernet cable. Ugh. Might be keepable. Never can have too many Ethernet cables. <laughs> right? Up. 
I appreciate you. Oh, right on. You want me to back up or? Oh, it, I think we can just carry it over. Yeah. Be all right. right on, man. I appreciate you. Sweet. That's the cool thing about having the sign. People know what I'm up to. You got the good scrap. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, might as well throw that in. This is good money. What? Dude, that's, copper, that's, right? that's a couple bucks right there. <laughs> right up front. Thanks again, man. Yeah, All right. I got it. I'm here. You're here. All right. You got it. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Is that a stick or a nail? It's a stick. Time to get some insulated copper wire. 40 cents per pound, possibly 45. You never know, because it is a commodity driven market. Supply and demand. Right, start to get a load here. Rotor action, I like it. It's rusty, so it can't be aluminum. Yes, aluminum corrodes, but it doesn't rust. string around it. All right, we're good. At the scrapyard again. Now, 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 now. copper over here is singing as well what's up copper man that's that's a good couple pounds that's right five bucks worth of copper all right i'm gonna guess a little bit more than 4300 pounds i don't know maybe no 4300 pounds even again 4360 sweet i like 4360 a lot of it I'm not gonna well the the rotors I'm not gonna throw off here. I'm gonna bring them back to my shop. Alright, let's not run over metal screws. No imitaya, please. The scrap yard. Wait, where's the scrap I just okay there it is. I'm like, where's the scrap I just dumped? It's already on top of the pile. 
It's not. So this used to be a fence. See these big posts? Yeah, that was actually a working fence. <laughs> Until the avalanche of scrap. Get out of my way. Michael, I will not run you over. And how much do we weigh going out? 4,000 pounds? That's awesome. So, 300 and something pounds. I'm okay with that. So let's have a 300. So a little bit under 20 bucks. That's what I got last time. So $35 day probably. Yeah, that's my guess. You are awesome. Just remember to be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing. And don't get hit by a car. <laughs> Thanks God for another safe, trip to the scrapyard in the name of jesus amen and i also want to say thank you for the paypal tip jars for buying merchandise um those yeah i, I love getting a surprise um paypal tip and uh, it, it is just nice you know it really is so thank you for that